It's the week of Valentine's, and love is in the air at Sarah Williams' house. It's horrible. It just permeates everything around us. Over at Richard Castillo's home, Cupid's perfume is strong. It's a stench that you will know. And underneath Rebecca Rangel's master bedroom, hormones are really high. There's at least two, because uh-huh. you can hear them going at it oh, okay. in the middle of the night. <laughs> This February 14th, these Sacramento Valley homeowners will be spending their romantic holiday with some unwanted guests. And we have skunks that have nested under our house. When the sensor light comes on, she'll release her scent. When we get up in the mornings, we'll just go and close it and he'll just be running right through here. February and March is mating season for the North American striped skunk. But make no mistake, that pungent odor wafting through the air is not necessarily pheromones of love most likely the result of a female rejecting a male suitor. If you see this and you're looking at its butt with its tail up, that means get away. Anissa Avila has never been sprayed by a skunk, but she does care for a lot of skunks at the Sacramento Wildlife Care Association. Skunks tend to live under people's houses because they like living in dens underground, but they won't dig their own, so they'll find other abandoned dens or under houses because it's warm, it's safe, and it's a safe place for them to have their babies. Here is where they used to get in. Becca Rangel has two skunks under her house, and they didn't like it when she attempted to block off their entrance. One skunk has come in through the cat door at one point, and this is our bed. Somehow those skunks made it back under the house, and Becca and her husband have moved to the guest room to avoid the smell. With the use of high-tech equipment, I wanted to see if I could use my iPhone to FaceTime Becca's little stinkers, or at least scare the skunks out from underneath her house. All right, so basic idea here. We're gonna use one phone is our uh, visual phone. The other one is so I can see how we can control. This one's gonna be recording. Like a wind-up doll on steroids, the skunk car makes its way through the crawl space. If this doesn't scare the skunk out, I don't know what will. Okay, we see some duct work here. Let's just see if it's like torn up at all. Everything was going great until this. Oh no. Oh Oh, no. Oh no! no! (laughs) With no way to retrieve the car, it's pretty obvious what I had to do. Okay, all right, here we go. All right, Stubbs, here I come. And just in case you're wondering, I didn't encounter the skunk. All right, another failed attempt. Instead of scaring the skunk out myself, I thought it best to talk to an expert. So I'm Brad, I'm with Irwin's Animal Control and Trapping Services. Today we're doing a skunk removal and skunk exclusion. Skunk removal is not an occupation that normal people just fall into. That is, unless you're Brad Irwin. I'm a heavy equipment operator by trade, but I was always doing this as a hobby. Okay. Trapping skunks is kind of a weird hobby, but whatever. Brad is the guy you want to call when situations like this happen. Okay. Stuck in a hole in the wall, huh? (laughs) What do you do with a skunk once you've trapped it? You want to know? (laughs) Well, I have to put him down. Okay, before you start judging Brad, you have to understand he's only following California state law. Well, state law in California, you, you need if you trap a skunk for nuisance reasons, you have to put them down on the spot or release them on the spot. Of course, releasing them kind of defeats the whole purpose. Skunks are one of the most common animals to carry rabies, so they can't be relocated. So instead of trapping and killing the skunks, Brad likes to put an underground fence around the entire house. So won't that trap the skunk inside? Yeah. So what we'll do is once everything is trenched out and screened, we'll install a one-way door which will allow him to leave, but then he won't be able to come back through. Just in case you're wondering, skunk proofing your house is not cheap. Just doing the entire deck could be about 1,500 bucks. All right, the thing is, once you have one skunk under your house, the smell will attract other skunks. So we have exterminated them a couple times, but it gets pretty expensive. Skunks are here to stay. We kind of have to live with them. Thankfully, though, winter mating season only lasts a few months. If this guy does spray you, what's the best way to get that stank off you? So using a mixture of Dawn dish soap, hydrogen peroxide, and baking soda. With love from the stinky streets of Sacramento, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.
Hey, thanks for watching and watch more videos just like this. Also, write in the comments where I should be checking out next.